No, it's the parasocial attachment now. Oh my god. Dude, this is like comedic, no? We're just leaking Sydney's fart fetish? Why? Yeah, so we've got 5,000 messages to go over here. Is Ku How old is Kumo? Why is he talking like back in the day? Aren't you like, aren't you into like 20? I'm like Lenny with my in advice of, of mice and men. I just mean to stroke and then I just accidentally, you know? I just accidentally, you know? These people were conspiring to save Sinny, okay? That's what they wanted to do. So, this user here, Nerf. It looks like it's a raccoon, a raccoon with a skull face. Appears to be who we're dealing with here, Nerf. And he has got, or they have got, I don't know what this thing is, the Sinny support group, group chat exported okay this is obviously the group chat where evan Cinny, goblin and kumo were conspiring so i mean i let's just jump into it, i guess that's all the context you need right it's where they were helping Cinny. says and then later on eventually romantic goblin happens to get added into the group chat too so that's like do you want the roar of this what the the html if we've got the html yeah yeah uh, yeah, please. I would rather not listen to this, um, developmentally disabled raccoon guide me through it. I would much rather go through it myself. Thank you. Okay, here we go. No, not add bookmark. How do I... Why, could... Why will it not open? If I just navigate to the file in here, will it do it? Yeah, it does. Awesome. Sweet. There we go. Okay, so let's, let's get into this. I don't know how much this will get through tonight, but we will definitely finish it tomorrow, should we not get to the end of it tonight. But let's take a look. <clears throat> So we've got Evan Do Things added Cine. Evan Do Things started a call that lasted 900 minutes. Little cropped on the left-hand side. We'll move it over. There we go. A call that lasted 900 minutes here. Spending 900 minutes on call with Cine Bear. So then he adds Romantic Goblin. Do we have this file? Nope. There's the Stardust thing. This is, adds v villain Villainilla. Don't know who this is. Nerf. Is that Nerf or is Nerf part of this? Ryan to Goblin, Cindy Barrow 3 did nothing wrong. Gonna go eep. Got to go. I'm starting to get a headache, says Kumo here. And Kumo sends a big cat gif. Obviously, this is a staple of both Mrao and Kumo, the cat gifs. And we've got a, a Evan sending a very not funny little mini snake gif that, that has nothing on Kumo's gif here. This sucks compared to Kumo's gif here. Oh. Then Ren is here. Who is Ren? They've got like, this Ren person has the other half to Kumo's profile picture. There is Ren Kumo's e-girlfriend. They have like, she has like a female Gojo and he has like a male Gojo and they're like kissing. <laughs> Ken Baby's not realized the goal has been hit. That's very epic. Thank you, the for the $10, Babe. Time for the people. Thank you for the $10, Ken Babe. Thank you for the $10, Ken Babe. I hope that happens a few more times. That would be very epic. So he, he's got his e-kitten. I assume it's an e-kitten. I, I can't imagine that they know each other in real life. I can't imagine that's what's going on here. I really can't imagine that. It's got to be an e-kitten. He's like uh, having fantasies about like masturbating as Gojo. I get it, bro. I don't know why I'm here, but look at this capybara named Cinnamon who's on the run for heinous crimes. Squishes the capybara in my hand, says Cinny. Ren, she's from a dinosaur park and zoo, but she's now an outlaw. Wow, says Cine. Evan says, put an evil moustache and villain hat on them. Kumo says, seal jailbreak with a, with a gif of a seal here. She's probably growing one out right now. New payday game. Really? Right in front of my retard? Okay. Lol. I started working on my script, but I don't even have my intro done yet. That's good. First steps are always a start. Kumo changed the channel name to Homo Thug Rapist Conversion Camp. We love Kumo. We love Kumo. Kumo, come home. Kumo, come home. Kumo, come home. We love you, Kumo. Come home. Just own your shit and return, please. Reinstate your YouTube channel. <clears throat> these are the bullet points I have so far. Anyone think I should add or change? Does this? Do we get these? No. Just make sure I cover anything I need to. It helps me. I know I just popped in, but I suggested to Kumo that I found something a little odd. Jack posts suggestive memes on his YouTube and rates them 16+, plus, which by his standards should be inappropriate. Kumo did delete his YouTube. Yes, he did. Yeah, that 
Panty and stocking thing at the end is definitely not for 16 year olds. Lol. I mean, it probably is, Evan, you fucking mouth breather. I think panty and stocking is fine for 16 year olds, to be honest, to retard. I know you were, your development was stunted, but that's not the norm. I bring up Jack. Had you wait to upload your video until uploaded his? Dude, Goblin is like borderline illiterate. This is like, this is your average American trailer trash. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Yeah, yeah. If the porn was censored, then it's about as appropriate as his memes. Okay, let me edit. Oh, wait, no, I lied. I saw another one today with an Ahigo, Ahigo, Ahigao, Ahigo face. And the bulge with a smiley face over it. But also, they were given Cine de, de, de Hit for suggestive artwork that wasn't even porn. Oh, they were giving, giving Cine shit. Fucking retarded bitch. Thank God that fucking, thank God fucking Goblin deleted her YouTube channel. Thank God she deleted her YouTube the other day. Thank fuck. Joking. Goblin, come home. Goblin, come home. We need the content. We need the content. Goblin, come home. Come debate me on Trump or something. It'll be funny. We haven't seen Extreme Dad, by the way. Extreme Dad was going to prove to me tonight that the election was stolen. And I haven't seen him. That the 2020 election was stolen. And he hasn't shown up. Yeah, we accidentally bullied Goblin into deleting her, her YouTube channel. Accidentally. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Butterfingers. Okay. Stop. Feeling jubilant right now. <clears throat> See, these are good leaks. These are good leaks. These are much, much more fun than the ones we start the stream with. Also, it's not assault if you consent to it, then regret, uh, regret it afterwards. I wanted to ask that too, Cine. The poking thing Jack alleged, did you even do that? Or was that something Jack gaslit you about? I know I poked him in the crotch once, and it was on accident. I poked him in the pube area once or twice, asked if it was okay to do that immediately afterward. I poked him in the ass a lot, but last time I remember that, he didn't react at all. But also, he was fine with you groping and such. Did Jack ever say he was uncomfortable? Judging by what you're saying, I'm assuming no, but gotta ask. I always asked if it was okay, and he said yes. Did he ever grope you back or take part in this? So yeah, that just adds to it. You can't take away consent long after the action has happened. The poking, I can't remember too well. He says he told me to stop, but I don't remember what that conversation was like. No. Honestly, I feel like the poking thing he is gaslighting you on. IDK for sure. And it's weird because he's like, I can sit into groping, but not poking. Either way, it seems he's trying to paint himself as a victim. Yeah. Taking my attention away from Eno. Taking attention away from Eno while e-begging for money. When we were in Seattle, I was playing with his boobs... <laughs> Just kind of bouncing them while we were waiting for his aunt to pull up directions to our restaurant. And I asked if he was okay with me doing that. Because I had never done this in public before. He said it was fine, so I kept doing it. This was like two days before he found out what I did to Eno. Suddenly now I'm a predator. This is what I have for the intro. Forgive me if it sounds dramatic. No, it sounds good for me. That sounds good. Doesn't sound dramatic. Damn, I can't even read my own tone in writing. Hello, everyone. I didn't see am this. Kenny RZ, aka Kenny Bunny 06, aka Kenny. I know this isn't my normal type of video. I actually planned on making a different video on a different person, but I feel the need to share this as it may give some of you a more clear opinion of the current situation with my former friend Cindy Barrow 03. You heard that right. For those of you who don't know, I was friends with sydney for almost a year not anymore obviously but some things happened throughout that time that may trigger some people so please refer to these trigger warnings i'd like to specify i am no longer associated or even talking with her anything i've ever drawn or animated for her has been deleted and or privated from all platforms as just seeing it makes me feel sick with that out of the way i'd like to make a point not to harass anyone mentioned anyway let's begin I met Cinny when I was 17, and we stopped talking about a month into that friendship due to the situation that happened around that time with a different minor. However, in late March to early April of this year, we had started talking again. It was casual stuff until May, when she started asking for art of the character boy from Sock.Clips FNF mod Twinsomnia. At this time, Dude. I hadn't known about the drama. The fucking, the, the minor OC, the minor OC. 
No, not the miners OC being sexualized. No. I'm not a huge drama person. I'd like to stay in my own little bubble and only speak when I am directly involved with said dramas. Over time, her requests got a lot more sexual, and I'm not proud of how I spoke or what I drew. I am used to being mildly flirty with friends and making sexual jokes with them, but it's never serious and never with minors. She would change miscellaneous topics to be sexual about the character I mentioned before. She would also say things like, you don't have to do this just because I'm a popular creator, which at the time seemed unimportant, but now doesn't really sit well with me. It wasn't until recently that I realized Sydney most likely did not see me as a genuine friend, but more so a person she can converse with about her lewd fantasies and get art from. Recently, it had been revealed that Sydney had groomed a 14-year-old. I will not be revealing their name here as I don't personally find it responsible to do so. Everyone else found out through other people. I believe the victim told Soph, who then told Laurel, who then told Jack and brother, aka Carson. However, I was told directly by Cindy. As the screenshot shows, she had been freaking out and ended up telling me, I groomed a minor. I didn't mean to. Which, how the fuck do you accidentally groom a minor? She then went on to try and vent to me about it and say things like, my life is over, I can't live without Jack, I want to die. Which, she would often say these things anytime she ended up in serious situations throughout the time I knew her. At that point, I had started breaking down. The thought that someone I knew personally would do the very thing I and everyone around them are against, it sickens me. Right now, Jack is in need of help to get out of that situation. I'll have his GoFundMe in the description and my bio. Her apology video is something. It frustrates me, not only the fact that it just exists, but the fact that it's scripted. And I have it here to prove it. And don't get me wrong, like, scripting a video is completely fine to do, but scripting that type of apology, it doesn't work, dude. Like, you can't just pick and choose what you want to apologize for. You need to take everything you've done into account. I don't know if there are more victims. I don't know if there are other quote-unquote friends of hers that she's done this to. I hope everyone involved can eventually recover from this. Now a word from brother, aka Carson. Hello, I'm brother, but my actual name is Carson. However, despite being friends with Cindy Bear03 for like five months, she never bothered to remember my name, even though it plastered all over every single of my profiles. Instead, she only called me brother. Let's dive into my very short friendship with- Bro, how did the fan get was, dude? That thing. Cindy's first ever text to me outside of uh, the context of commissioning her was a very tastefully joking, why are you 17? I actually screenshotted the exact moment that message was sent to me. It has the date and the time. I actually just got off school and I was at work. I explained to her that my- Wait, 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 wait. How old was Cindy again? How old was Cindy again? Isn't Cindy like 19 or some shit? Why do I care? Why are you like this? Oh, she's 22 now. Still, I just don't care, man. I really don't care. It, again, I just don't. Day was on March 2nd, so I was going to turn 18 pretty soon. And when I explained it, she stopped engaging in the conversation with me. Eventually, some time passed, and I turned 18. I had my birthday. It was kind of fun. About two weeks went by, and I joined a live stream that Cindy was hosting, where she points me out, and she tells me to DM her. I just got out of the shower. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Person named, username brother. Um, welcome. My brother is back, though, and I like brother. Brother seems like a cool guy. You know, who's also a cool guy, me, which is why brother should should get in my DM so we can talk about cool things. Sorry about the awkward cutoff on that last clip. I just, when I clipped the stream all that time ago, I, I clipped it weird and I'm I'm lazy. Okay, I'm not going back and fixing it. You can probably assume where this goes. Boy got brought up, heterosexuality got brought up, so on and so forth. Hey, but you, okay, but weren't you like an adult at that point, I think? Or like, it sounded like that's what was being said then, though. That was the timeline. That they were turning 18 or they just turned 18. As much as we lose content from Goblin and Kumo. Bitch made behavior. We have Mral now. He's a much better regarded content factory. Far more resilient and capable of handling scrutiny. We, yeah, but we kind of want people who break down too, right? But we want them to keep coming back. Thank you for the $10. So far, basically, everything that's ever happened to any other one of her friends who she claims she was being hypersexual with, that's what happened. There were just a few things I wanted to bring up in particular that I, I felt like were noteworthy between me and her. I'm on the A-Relate really spectrum. It's not a secret. It's plastered all over my accounts. It's on my pronoun page. And like most people, I have hypersexuality from sexual trauma. And I guess in Cindy's mind, she figured that canceled uh -huh. out the whole asexual stuff. Still, we were both adults who exchanged an extremely flirty, bordering on sexual conversations almost daily for like two months. This is noteworthy because I had an extreme parasocial attachment to Cynthia way before we became friends. And she knew it because I was not very shy about it. We now, it's the parasocial attachment now. Oh my god. We weren't ever really actually friends she was just using me and the many other people um, that she was in contact with including the child the 14 year old child um that she groomed because she's a sexual predator anyway she was just using us to spread her weird fetishes and fantasies about boy and nightmare i, I don't give a fuck about those characters i don't care about boy i never did in my desperate mind for validation from my long childhood idol and keeping as many friends as possible because i was extremely lonely and i still am i engage heavily in this weird relationship I can't say that it'll haunt me forever. If anything, I just really regret it and I'm pretty embarrassed about it. I began to grow pretty distant from her when my mental health actually started to get better and my parasocial attachment to her started to go away. And we grew distant because she would just never text me unless it was about boy or her fantasies and I was just really tired about hearing that OC so I wouldn't respond. I was very open to her. Well, yeah, no shit. Oh, she, she just wants to fucking do this with gooning shit with people. Obviously, she's looking for anyone to goon with online. Yeah, obviously. Okay, I don't care that she wasn't your friend. ...about my loneliness, and I told her a lot of very personal things, and I no longer 
feel like I can trust her with that information, even though I was really a nobody to her and she did not care about me. So I don't have much to worry about, I guess. She was one of the only people that I had in my life who would talk to me daily. And I guess I feel a little bit taken advantage of. Nowhere near as taken advantage of as that child, the 14-year-old child that Sneebear 03 groomed. Hey, I am, however, super uncomfortable going through those documents and seeing my art and messages between me and Cynthia and how they were used to be shown to a child in order to groom them. I feel horrible about that, truthfully, that as a child, the child was the... Dude, this is like comedic, no? The child, the child, the child, the child that was groomed, the child that was groomed, you know, the child that was groomed? The child? Dude, calm down. That same age as my cousin, and I love my cousin, and I can't imagine anything like this happening to her. I'd also like to point out it's really disturbing how she treated all of her hypersexual friends exactly the same. It was like a robot gathering Gooner information. Because of that, I only have a few unique interactions with her that I wanted to bring up. One time uh, when I was on a call with Cynthia, the topic of self-harm had been brought up and I mentioned I was cutting up a box. It was a box full of peeps. This was around, I think, when I got a bunch of Easter candy. And when she heard this, she goes, oh, now your blade isn't sterile. Along with being very discouraging uh, to me about finding different, healthier ways to cope other than self-harm. Interestingly enough, uh, Kenny experienced this as well, but Cindy would often make jokes about me coming to visit and stay with her, or her coming to pick me up. I actually live only like two hours away from the state she lives in. It only takes me about two hours to get there, and because our states are right next to each other, so sometimes I would seriously consider it. Obviously, I'm glad that I never did. Also, she has a fart fetish, and I was the only one who got told this from what I know. Wait, what? We're just leaking Sydney's fart fetish? Why? She has a fart fetish? Jesus Christ, drawing boy farting on me. Ah yes, this is so normal and I am normal. I fixed it, code 3, fuck you. Definition of normal, you mean fart you, I hate you. Unless there was no more of brother and Sydney friendship, gone, poof, taken away by the wind, almost like a fart. I will... K, why? Help, I'm still drawing it. Oh god, oh fuck. Why what if I am into it? That wouldn't be good. That'd be bad. I'd mm mm hmm and mm, -mm you or putting the idea in my head. Why wow, don't mm me. Okay. And I was the only one who got told this from what I know. And much like she did with Laurel, Cindy ended our DMs with a simple I love you, which she didn't bother to put my actual name on really just shows how much she actually cared about me. We've mutually blocked each other and I haven't interacted or spoken to her since. That's all I can really say. Um, if anyone wants to contact me for any reason, whether it be you need support from yeah, me. Yeah, every, like, Jar's got a fart fetish and he has a jar fetish, they're perfectly made, but everyone in the ACC has like a fart and diaper fetish and, and all this sort of if shit. If you want to support me, my Discord is on the screen. And Cindy, if you're watching this, I will very unhappily recite to you the comment I left on your shitty video that you deleted. We all deserve an apology, all of your friends. I feel horrible for Jack, I feel horrible for Laurel, Sunny, Kenny, Molly, Ashley, and especially the child you had groomed. When Laurel told me what had happened, I was beyond horrified by you and your actions. We were friends, and we shared a lot with each other. I'm disgusted with you. You cannot make up for this, and you will never be able to make up for this. Shame on you. Apologize to us, a real one, that I never want to hear anything from your fucking mouth ever again. You traumatized a child for life. Never forget that. That child will never forget this moment. You've permanently altered an extremely important developmental time in their life. My heart goes out to NL, Kenny, Laurel, Molly, Jack, Squirt, Stupid, and everyone else who had been affected by this tragedy please give them your support and thank you and a bit of a side note. mention the cats too squap and stupid i'm sorry for how awkwardly put together this video is and how awkward my speech is i've never had to do anything like this before i really didn't expect to have to make this video and i'm sorry if i choked up a bit throughout it i've never felt so betrayed by someone i not only trusted as a friend but also dude why do they all have different fucking fans in the background dude oh my god to. the very person who got me into art and animation what makes me me turned out to be the exact thing i am wholeheartedly against as carson had said before my heart goes out to everyone involved please stay safe and responsible out there Okay, okay. All right, let's go back to these then. Fake friends. Genuinely, fuck those guys. <clears throat> I'm seeing people start talking about how Birdie's intentions seem more on gaining attention side of things as opposed to spreading awareness. Also, awful thumbnail. You would be able to read the speech bubble once it shrunk down. Sydney, Sydney on that grind set, I see. Awesome. Yeah, these guys aren't even looking into the chat logs. It feels like Deadwing Dork was the first one to point out. It's weird how everyone else is trying to hide victims name slash identity except jack who outed the victim's name had them speak and give out their discord i feel like you should rephrase ungrateful and focus on the lie of him pulling his weight and how you financially supported him far more than he ever let on i.e the many things you brought the money lending the general fact you're his caretaker in many ways just not phrase it specifically as he's ungrateful because that will more than likely be flipped against you he says it in no uncertain terms the language is very specific or it's almost like a freudian slip 
Am I not included at all? I don't know yet. How the Deadwing Dork beef you had end, I didn't catch it. Uh, Nick DiOrio, Turkey Tom, and a bunch of other people descended into his chat to try and pressure him to talk to me, and he refused. Said that I was bad faith and that there was no point talking to me. Okay. That's how it ended. I feel you could rephrase it. Okay. The details are especially relevant with the money he's gotten thus far and the potential fraud charges he will be facing soon. At least IMO. I agree. Reminded me of a few cases I know of where the person falsely confessed. Look at how Kumo's retarded ass girlfriend is spelling falsely, bro. Bro, look at my 60 IQ girlfriend, bro. Confessed either because they were manipulated to believe it was true or because no, they felt nobody would believe otherwise. Rephrase it how? Just add in that you made a confession on duress because you were convinced you did by Jack. Okay, also again, I'll add it all to the script once I have a better draft. Wait, she was going to shout out? Let's go. I know it's going to sound icky or bad, but you have to go through the chat logs as well and address the, what's, what's in them, what stuff is out of context. Go over that while inappropriate, yes, it's not grooming because you're both just sim simpong over a fictional character. Might be good to also mention that grooming requires a few key things. Intent, the want to gain something from a victim. Dude, wait, no, Kumo's girlfriend is the smart one. Kumo is stealing his girlfriend's work. The want to gain something from the victim, sexually, financially, so on, and to desensitize them, all these things that weren't present in the logs. She was the one coming up with the arguments. Okay, along with other things like wanting it to be kept secret, Jack and you, wanting to isolate the victim, etc, etc, if you feel necessary to mention it is. At the end of the day, this response will be for your own catharsis and to sway people on the fence. People who chose to side with Jack already will cast that a lot. You can't so easily convince them of Jack's bad faith. She could be programmed, but I'm, I'm choosing to believe that she pulls the strings because it, it makes Kumo look like more of a bitch. Kumo, if you don't look like a bitch, okay, I'm assuming this woman wrote everything for you. Come back to YouTube and start making content and start convincing women to cut themselves again. If you want to be forgiven, and if you want us to assume that actually you were the smart one, not the woman. Also, guys, i got to say, we are... I don't know how long have we been going for here on the logs? Like half an hour. We have not even scratched the surface. We're not even like 5% of the way down this page. We're like 5% five, 5 of the way down this page. We've not even scratched the surface. Is there a message count at the bottom of the page somewhere? Yeah, so we've got 5,000 messages to go over here, okay? So we will not be finishing this tonight, but we, we are going to try and uh, get stuck in at least, you know? What is the final date on these messages? Let me have a look. They end on the 14th of October. So it's like a full month of messages. Troll F Lolly. They're saying, Carmen Ryder... Oh, I assume the YouTuber Carmen Ryder, not, uh, I think that's also a TV show, right? Carmen Ryder grooms kids unironically to defend Lollicon and educates an audience in the ways of Shadman. That's Kumo saying that. Yeah, so it's not Cayman Ryder, it's Carmen Ryder. C-A-R-M-E-N, not K-A-M-E-N. Yeah, dude, the Destiny ones are like not that fucking... Crazy, okay? I know that story. I know that story. I don't know what happened in this in this chat log. No shit. Where were we? Where were we? Falsely. Grooming. Okay, maybe I'll keep personal complaints for the end of the video. The beginning should just be me arguing my points without making it about me. That would be best. Keep the objective stuff first. Sydney says, Insane how much clearer my thoughts are now. Ren says, You've had time to digest this all, and you've had people who see through Jack. It's good now that you can think clearer. Sydney says, I thought my life was over. I genuinely thought about killing myself. <laughs> okay. Ren says, that's understandable. Considering the weight of his accusations, hopefully you can see there's still a chance to change it. Sydney says, so wait, weren't they trying to say, weren't they trying to say that they weren't helping Sydney craft a response? They weren't helping Sydney get her YouTube career back. They were just trying to be friends to Cine. They were trying to help be nice to Cine, make sure Cine had a shoulder to cry on. And Kumo's reason for why he turned on Cine was that Cine had started talking like she thought she could get her YouTube career back when she when she was speaking to Jar. This makes no sense. Queenman mentioned on the kill stream, it's over, chat. <laughs> what, what was said? Ethan Ralph mentioned. The shout out, the cosine, the Ralph Amel cosine. Basically, he doesn't know who you are. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Where, where, where do we keep getting up to? We keep being distracted. That'd be best. Keep projectors off first. Thoughts clear. Time to gesture. 
wait until accusations, so chance to change it. That's where you're up to. Yeah, so, so there's still a chance to change it. Kumo's girlfriend is in here saying, hey, Cindy, Cindy, you can still you can still make it. You can come back to YouTube. You can do it. But then he, he turns on Cindy over thinking she's got a chance to come back. That's fucking crazy. What a piece of shit. Kumo, come home. Come home and answer for this, Kumo. It took one conversion for me to feel better. Don't be surprised if suddenly you get people who start massively backtracking afterward, but there's also going to be people who will double down-ish. Double don wish. The people who will double down will likely not take any new info into consideration, into consideration so you can probably just class their points as moot. And the people who backtrack will come back to kick your ass. They want your friends just doing it to save, just doing it save skin. Dude, Goblin is fucking disabled, dude. This bitch is so dumb. This bitch is so fucking annoying and stupid, and she can barely fucking read or write. It's fucking insane. This is gonna be whack, says Cine. It's certainly gonna be something, says Ren. The people who've been coming to you saying they believe you fucked up on a bad person that you mentioned last night, they'll likely be ones on the fence more likely come to your side. They also just be feeling something is off, but not haven the words to put to it. Goblin, you are fucking retarded. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, Goblin, read a book. Goblin, read the book. God damn, bitch. Yeah, this bitch voted, I'm pretty sure. This bitch voted in your elections. In your elections. Do something about this. Okay, my dad just talked to me. Apparently my brother heard about what was going on with me because the kids at his school were talking about it. My dad was keeping tabs on the studio situ on the situation, and thankfully, I don't know why I said studio there. If I read that from chat, situation. Thankfully, he knows. He says he knows I'm not a pedo. He just thinks I'm stupid. Wait, her dad's like watching the her get exposed for being a pedophile on the internet. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, someone actually uh made a great point in my Discord the other day. Or was it in Spicy? Was it Starbash, I think it was. We, uh, if we just go and look. Can I find the same one? Yeah, here we go. So, I don't know if- Where's, it, where's a picture of Cinny quickly? Can we get a check on this? Does anyone have a picture of her? We all remember what Cinny looks like. I don't, I don't say this to be mean. I don't say this to be mean. I'm pointing out that she has reduced agency, okay? But she looks very similar- uh, She looks very similar to this, from what I recall. This is better than the weed argument. She has reduced agency. She has fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> My mother drank with her in the loom. Thank you, Pantom Sum, for the five gift of membership. I'm not sure, obviously. I, mean, I can't be sure. I can't be sure that she has fetal alcohol syndrome. I can't be sure that she has fetal alcohol syndrome. Obviously, I can't be certain. But she does look a bit like this, doesn't she? <laughs> it's in the farm. Wait, is this Cinny and Jack? Oh, dude. Dude. It's like pictures you can smell, you know? Like, it's so fucking... Chud, stand up now. <laughs> oh my god. Chud's eyes would pop out of his skull if he saw Jack. But that's a trans- No, Chud doesn't like trans men. Jack is a FTM. Anyway. Jesus, the fact they managed to come into your IRL, not surprising, we can't imagine it's all that fun. In any case, best of luck. My brother is confused and worried about me. Also, goddamn, my dad said, we didn't raise you to act like this. My brother in Christ, you weren't around to raise me. What? Yeah, okay. Jack was here last night. I just spoke to a co-worker. Apparently Jack was in the store I work at, talking to a few of my IRL friends. Co-worker asked about me, not knowing about the situation, and Jack told her nothing. So she, he's so he's still in Missouri, and he's sleeping on my friend's couch. I'm honestly glad to know he has a roof over his head. Ren says, The fact he's poking around still is fucking weird. So he says, He knows what days I have off, so he must come to the store yesterday because he knew I'd be home. Goblin here saying, well, Jack was bragging on Twitter about him stealing, well, Jack was bragging on Twitter him stealing your friends and couch surfing on their couches. And post the Jack tweets. This is the thread I'm talking about. And he says, the thing is, right now he's staying with friends, my friend Izzy, and Izzy has stuck by my side so far. She still talks to me, she's the one who checked my apartment for me before I came home, because I was having a paranoid fit. So Izzy turned on her, and tried to keep the cat, if we remember correctly. I, I wonder if cindy has got her cat back yet. I just had this thought. I don't know if anyone's mentioned it yet, but I gotta get out or my brain will explode. I find it really strange how Jack included Eno's statement in the video, and for a few reasons. One, he kept in the part where Eno claimed to still support you and want, still want in contact with you. And two, <coughs> 
He kept the pot in where Eno is clearly not taking it very seriously, the ending part. I couldn't think of a logical reason for this since it kind of goes against his narrative. But I thought it could either it could possibly be to either bring most attention onto himself and make himself look like more of a victim, and or to make people go to Eno and turn them against themselves turn them against you themselves. Free squirt till it's backwards. On jar. On jar. Jack kept Eno's Discord in the video for people to contact them, which is really fucking weird on its own. I know it's Tim Foley, but I had to bring it up. It's very Tim Foley retarded. No, you're right. It's it's fucking strange. I pointed that out too, and it's odd Jack on Twitter is shocked that Eno kept contact with Cinny. Like, if I were trying to paint you as this awful groomer, if cut out the little goofy ending at the very least, well, that would be dishonest, no? When in Eno's statement, Eno said they stick Cinny by sin side for the time being. When in Eno's statement, Eno said they stick by sin side for the time being. Okay, retard. Okay, retard. Okay, retard. I plan on bringing it up in the section, Jack isn't trying to protect Eno. Okay, cool. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that this was utterly bizarre. When I came home, on the night he confronted me, I told him I was going to call Eno and he made no effort to stop me. I had to hang up with Eno so he could confront me. Yeah, he's clearly not overly concerned about Eno, she's on to virtue signal and push the narrative further. My co-worker was so thrown off when I told her what was happening. She doesn't like what I did but thinks Jack is being ridiculous. I think it's safe to say that most people who don't think of Jack as a victim, most people who don't think of Jack as a victim through and through think he's being ridiculous. A lot of the people who are sucking his ass right now are people who think he can do no wrong because he was a victim at one point. I want to bring up in my video that he's effectively made the situation about himself. I'd warn your friend, be careful of Jack. Jack might swing false accusations at them. 100%. Let me know your thoughts on this. I assume she sent some, some of her script. If the critique is Jack didn't handle this with tact, allowed the Maya to be in danger, then I'd say that needs some work chopping. <laughs> Thank you for the eight ninety nine New Zealand dollars, King Slime. Jar. Thank you. On jar. On jar. Free squirp till it backwards. On jar. My eyes are sin. <laughs> well, you still were chatting with this miner and didn't conduct yourself appropriately. It doesn't really matter that Jack sucked every single step of this. You're on the back foot with this one. I just know about this, but Jack doing this actually opens Eno to a bunch of predators because Eno expresses intent, interest in the same kinks and shit as me. Someone could use that information to take advantage of Eno. Sydney is actually being pretty smart here. Being pretty smart here. That is true. That, that does do that. Obviously, she knows the tactics. She, she knows the game. Eno is the miner, yes. The literal miner. The literal miner child that Sydney groomed. Yes, that one. I'd say more if it wasn't literally clocking in for work. I can expand later. I'd say Jack is exposing them to possible predators by also letting Eno give out the Discord for anyone who wants to contact them. They're also opening Eno up for harassment. Depends on what the goal is, but the point. The goal is, I think, in this part, Jack isn't trying to protect Eno despite trying to look like he is trying to protect the victim. I want to point out that Jack's actions are putting Eno in danger and he doesn't actually care. How did these DMs leak? No idea. All these people have been leaking everything, though. So, some, uh, no oh, wait, I think Nerth was in this group chat, and Nerth, went Nerth is this person who leaked them, I think. I think. Beckett and Chris were begging to get this leak for a while. Fair enough. Wait, yeah, that makes sense. I'd say Jack is exposing possible predators. Okay, depends what goes at point. The goal is inspired. Okay, care. Everything Jack has done is cut harmful. Everyone else who came out against Cinny has tries censoring the miner's name and not telling people who the miner is, except for Jack. That's what I'm trying to say, says Cine. But also, I will say I do the think, dude. Goblin, you are so fucking retarded. Oh my god. But I also, I will say I do the think, Cine, you going the logs, explaining what you did wrong, but clarifying how it wasn't grooming, should be in the start of the video before going in on things Jack has done. Because like you have acknowledged that, yeah, have Haven those conversations with Eno was wrong, but we all agree it isn't grooming and it will help. I may need help with that. I won't mind helping, though you're going to explain, like, context behind the chats. It's also why I brought up, you're probably going to need to export the whole chat to see what had been taken out of context and such. Bro. This is, a, I'm pretty sure Goblin's a fucking adult. This is an over 18 who talks like this. I'm not losing my fucking mind. I'm being sent into a rage. 
But also, like, it's mainly you explaining the intentions behind the messages and such. If I have to QP, Q-P, I assume it's like an emoji face. Actually, I'm a little worried that me going through our DMs will have the same issue. I don't want to put anyone in danger. We can probably ask Kumo how to do it. There's a, there's way we can censor out Eno's name. People know it's, already know it's Eno, thanks to Jack and Soph. Jack already put enough in danger, so Evan type like a retard too now. That's my point. Yeah, well, about how about we export this chat, the chat and go over what's in the screenshots that have been made public, man. If people want more later, you can make the rest DMs public. Goblin types like my pikey Irish cousins do. That's unsurprising. That seems better. God, the situation is so messy. Is it just me, or could the situation have stayed private? Jack insisted this was a public matter, and that you had to go, had to make a video about it. Either way, they're kinks and stuff. They out there. Any predators who are going to target Eno will let you do so regardless if you defend yourself or not. Yes, it could have been private with you admitting to what you talked about with Eno being wrong, deciding cut ties, and also no longer interacting with minors. So it honestly seems you have a hard time censoring yourself, but also it's not worth it. Some of this is getting cut off. I need to recenter my DMs a little bit here. There we go. So updatey is Birdie didn't use their proper name or zip code to GFM. Does that mean anything for the GFM? Well, I don't know yet, but also Birdie's fight themselves too because they're going to look up that 10k when he's trying to get back on benefits and take that into consideration. Uh, okay. No, they're not. He said he's done trying to get his benefits back. That's what he told me. Well, that's on Birdie to figure it out, I guess. The consensus is that it's fraud and Jack screwed himself over hard. Yeah? Okay. Pursue that then. Follow that. Uh, go talk to a police officer about that. Well, good, but also, or oh, fuck. That's 10k that must be reported in text. And also, talk, call the IRS. Call the IRS. Call the fucking IRS. And a false name and other information will only make it worse for him. Or well, your co-workers are against you, like Jack bragged in the tweet, and only feigned ignorance to see how you'd answer. She's not that kind of person not to be mean, but she's too dumb to feign ignorance. She definitely wouldn't be so happy to see me if Jack told her anything. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so Kumo's here now. All right, yeah, Kumo's here. Ah, uh, I see. Also, what I'd miss, like, 20 plus no 120 plus notifications of purely yappery. Rain was being a real one, given killer advice earlier. Wow, Kumo, your girlfriend's so cool, Kumo. Yeah, yeah, uh, okie dokie. I started working on my script, but I'm struggling with it right now. I added Goblin and Evan to the server where I'm writing it. I can add you two if you want. Sure, I don't mind lending a hand. So, dude, they're all helping. I'm gonna get food. Yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm hungry too. Okay, I'm back. Is this? Yeah. Didn't Spock to have a similar drama uh, him encouraging people on DeviantArt to make lewd art of his OC? Last I checked, that lewd isn't necessarily porn. It really isn't. Isn't, like, isn't lewd just suggestive? Yeah. It's something like animation meme community has normalized. Like, you can have a stance that children 13 plus shouldn't be making a lewd or suggestive artwork, which is a stance I get, but then, like, you need to get a whole lot of other cases, others' cases within the community. What the fuck are you saying here, bitch? What the fuck are you even trying to say here, bitch? What you mean? What are you talking about, stupid air? But it's fair to point out I'm talking with other people far more critical of Sydney to bounce ideas off on what else Sydney may need to address. Smart. Also, Soros for not interacting. I'm at work right now. It's cool, Sydney. When I get home from work, can someone help me work on my script and go through the DMs? I don't know if I'll be awake. If I'm up, sure. But if I'm up, I'll help. Okay. Laker is a yapper, but I like Laker. Just making sure. Sydney, you only drew rape art of fictional characters, right? There's a comic I made when I was 16 of Jack raping me. But that's the only example I have of drawing real people. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. That's freaky as fuck. Women be like... <laughs> women be like... I was 16. I know, but like, when I was 16, I just played video games. We know you were stunted, Evan. We know. Bro, Evan said, back in my day. And then this face. When I was 16, I was writing out lists of ways to get away with murder and not get caught. Goblin, low IQ, antisocial personality disorder have her. Let's go. Let's go. Criminal phenotype. Criminal phenotype. Let's go. 
Put her in prison. Put her in prison. Man's prison. Because we're abolishing the women's ones. When I was 16, I was spending every day on my on Rainbow Six practicing for ranked matches because I wanted to be a pro gamer, says Kumo. Kumo plays Rainbow Six. I've just started playing Rainbow Six. Kumo, come home. Teach me Rainbow Six, Kumo. But also, Cine, do you consider NSFW and Lou to be the same thing? I'm asking for clarification. I still hold on to this mindset, to be clear. Yeah, I, I like it. It's fun so far. Also, though, I don't know your content, Cine, but if you called anyone out for similar stuff like this, you're going to have to deal with being hypocrite. Yeah, with by being hypocrite. Thank you, Goblin. Thank you, Goblin. Thank you for your input. Hypocrisy doesn't make you wrong. Some cowardly Canadian bitch said that once. Okay, um, I, I'm gonna scroll through some of this. Um, but even so, okay, right. What's, what's up from here? Kumo says the screenshot is also over two years old. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Crystal flame. I don't know what this is about. Purple socks. Be dressed because deceiving people into thinking I'm younger is pretty specific. Younger animator, come on, you're a younger animator. The OC is 18, so it's not like she's pretending to be a child. Also, the account doesn't seem active. Oh, heavens, a two-year difference with an art style that clearly appeals, appeals to children. The screenshot is also over two years old. Cindy would have been, what, 18, says Kumo. Trying to relive a good time when I was 14. So you're right. That would be for Villain Villa. Ren says, we're just saying from the screenshot, it sounds like Cindy is suggesting she wants to pretend to be like 14, but she was pretending to be 18. It's not quite as bad as it looks. Even so, it seems like a troll thing, but also relive some stress, less stressful times. It's called a diary. Like, unless you can give evidence for using the account to befriend minors to be weird, I don't kind of don't give a shit. Thumbs up, still weird. The ACC normalizes making the internet your diary. So it's sitting was pretending to be younger? Hmm, curious. It's definitely weird, just not as bad as everything else. I'm sure it can be easily explained. Villain Villa shrugs. Are we just allergic to good faith right now? Uh, you guys have been kind of bad faith. You guys have been bad faith to the pedophile we're in a Discord group with. Cut it out, Kumo. Cut it out. Thank you for just being honest about it. Yeah, we need this guy back. Bring K Kumo come home. Kumo come home. What is this? Stylo. Husband. I was joking. We still have house. So rocky. So rocky. We still have house. Oh, so rocky, husband. Okay. <laughs> no more homorosu. Hey. No ninja, I'm being hypercritical. I haven't been my opinion yet. That's being hyper gay. Dude, Evan's so fucking annoying. Well, we could start by talking in complete sentences, ninja. Make me. And then here's here's Kumo sending a gif of some gay shit going on. Me when I fucking get you. Okay, that's Kumo's girlfriend, his e girlfriend, his e kitten flirting with him here. Villa being weird isn't a crime. So I don't think it needs to be addressed. It just seems like another thing where they flung shit at the wall and prayed it's stuck. If they try to move the goal back to that goal, goal post after a response, which I doubt, then Cindy could consider answering it, but it doesn't seem at all too important. Cindy thought about LARPing as a younger kid two years ago, fresh out of high school. I was 18 to 19. I wanted to go back to my freshman year too. I don't think anyone didn't. Wait. Is K How old is Kumo? Why is he talking like back in the day? Aren't you like, I think you went to like 20. It's like last year for you, nobody. How old is this guy? I need to know, is Kumo lying about his age? I have to know. I feel like it might be the case. Yeah, maybe mate oh, was on something. <clears throat> oh yeah, the Molly account is mine. I was just fucking LARPing as a younger creator. I gained my popularity at 14 and part of me felt nostalgic for making low effort art and gaining a second audience and trying not to tie it to me. I had no intentions of contacting literally anyone with that account. It was just meant for art. Hmm. Smart School Cine 03. Yes. Yes. This is strange. This is strange. This is very odd. Not good behavior. Kumo commentary rap playlist. No. Is it from his SoundCloud? Is it that stuff? This guy is gay. Ah, uh, Kumo, you're gay. Kumo, you're gay. Ah, uh, uh, Kumo, you're gay. <laughs> Dude. Kumo, come home. Kumo, come home. Look, we have Mraud makes incel core to groom teenagers. And Kumo's out here. With cut slots, making fucking SoundCloud rap about beating up Bussy. Dude, Kumo, come home. Kumo, come home. We need you. I can save you. I can save your reputation, Kumo. I can. I. You said you saw what I did from Rao. You saw what I did from my. Okay. I can do the same, Kumo. Come home.
Dude, he has like fucking six songs about pussy. Dude, he has like so many songs about pussy. Dude, Kumo's fucking awesome. We need him back, man. Dude, I need... I want Kumo back like nothing else. Taken way too soon. Okay. Let's... Dude. Let, let's finish a little bit more of these DMs, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna go to the normal time tonight, so... You murdered Kumo? I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to! Dude, I'm like fucking Lenny. I'm like a retard. I'm like Lenny with my in advice of, of mice and men. I just mean to stroke a little bit. I just mean to stroke, and then I just accidentally... You know? I just accidentally... You know? Yeah, stroke. Whoa. I'm just, I'm just you know, stroking. <laughs> we're gripping. I'm gripping. Pause. Thank you for the ten dollars, Hannah J. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't delete it because it can be seen as hiding shit. I can't delete it. I don't know how, but you're right, I guess. You have DMs with anyone on that account though. I just straight up don't use it. You have to do it through Facebook. Yo, thank you for the twenty dollars, Hannah J. Thank you so much. Two. Thank you. Uh, do you have DMs with anyone on that account though? Straight up don't use it. You have to do it through Facebook. Only message stuff in the ACC is pe from people tagging the account. <clears throat> Because I'd screenshot sh 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 it, g g the DMs are empty showing you didn't message or talk to anyone. I know, I tried to, I didn't want to run Kumo off. I, dude, Kumo's funny. I, I, I love Kumo, okay? Kumo's great. We're huge Kumo fans here. Like morale. We love morale. We love Kumo. They have their quirks, okay? They have their quirks. They like, you know, they like... Fucking around with, with people they shouldn't be fucking around with on Discord. They're a bit hypocritical sometimes. They're a bit crazy. A bit stupid. But we love them. We love them. Yo, Hannah J is just fucking absolutely oiling like crazy right now. Three. Thank you. Thank you. Huge W. Because I already see speculate people speculating an endless server. It's only got three things a message request saying, Cindy Bear, you're so cooked. Don't let it get to you. It's just annoying. <clears throat> Yeah, this is why I'm on the don't delete the account side, because it just gives some ammo. Zoom in on that hedgehog. Uh, okay, let's show the hedgehog for a moment. What is a hypocrite but someone who doesn't realize how right they are? That's what, you know, I'm going to use, that's my new, new excuse. I just didn't realize how right I was. Thank you for the $5, Jimberly. I'm slightly concerned about where these donors are heading ben. from you. But thank you. It's only got three things I'm just requesting. Yeah, okay, we saw that bit. I get the account looks suspicious as fuck, but I was just trying to relive my nostalgic times because when I was 14, art was fun. It's weird as fuck for you to be pretending to be a kid online. That's strange. That's some strange behavior, especially when you're talking to kids. Don't like that at all. I get told to mm 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 every year on my birthday, one way or another. You gotta think I'm a subhuman that their words mean nothing. Akumo wants to be light so bad, bro. He wants this guy wants to be light so fucking bad. Thank you, Quack, for the five dollars. Hi. Oh, oh, you guys, you guys can't work together. No cooperation in the chat. No cooperation. You guys suck. Thank you for the money, regardless. You have to start over. And he deletes it. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be Light? Well, I mean, Light lost. And not only did Light lose, but he lost in, like, the first fucking play. He literally lost, like, fuck it, so quick. It was over. In, like, episode 5 or some shit. Whenever it was, episode 3. Whatever, whenever the broadcast is. Well, what the fuck would you want to be like? You want to be better than light, okay? You want to be better than light. He's kind of light. Kumo is kind of like light in that way, to be fair. Okay, eat some like spaghetti. See, that's more like it. Delicious image from Ren here. Ha 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 ha. Get used to it, Cinny. He's the devil on the shoulder. It's about Kumo, I guess. You're cultivating grooming, your own gag of spastics like Nick and Augie, only with reckless abandon regarding the consequences content based. <laughs> problem? 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 Well, I just like, I like energy, I like content happening, I like things moving. Who's in the picture? Him and me, but applies here too. Wait, so this, I see, are they sending the picture that's like their faces pressed together? The devil in question. Do I want to unspoiler this? Do I want to risk that? Let's... Okay, there's nothing there anyway. We're good. Woke. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I'm okay with having this stolen, as I stole it also. GG, get wrecked. Kumo exposed again. You do it to yourself. Oh, I feel sick right now. I'm related to what y'all are doing. Anxiety been making me really sick. Hey, you. Log out of Twitter for just a bit today, yeah? That's understandable, honestly. Sad face. I think maybe the worst part is over. You've got your head screwed on a little tighter, and you've got some people in your corner, so that's better than it was. 
Yes, and we're helping you. I'm not trying to bring stuff in, upset you. Just bring it to your attention so you're not caught off guard. Give you a chance to nip shit in the bud. I usually do the same for Kumo and shit. It's a habit. Thank you for the $2, Quack. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like the part of it is wearing off because it feels like comfort. I feel like having you all assure me everything's going to be okay isn't going to comfort me as long as people are drawing Jack stabbing me. Oh, fuck. People really are crazy. Holy shit. Think of it this way. She's promoting people making violent imagery of you. Shows he is in the wrong. Yeah, what he said. Only spoiling this because I hate looking at it, but look, I assume this image is probably gone now. Dude, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, they're definitely in the wrong here. Jack has it, has handled it with the hat and everything is so out of line. If he was concerned about getting away from you for his safety, he wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't be reposting shit either. Mans knows he's in the wrong. Also, what doesn't work in Jack's favor is that he's telling people not to talk to you, essentially silencing you and not allowing your side. So it'd be a shock to him when you do respond. Oh, it's really shit, but ultimately the way he's behaving is working in your favor. I guess so. Honestly, it will be good. It will be goon on you in the end. Goon. The ultimate rebound attack. Pfft, yeah, okay. Imagine receiving Leo's art instead of Sinny's. So this will be a picture of when Leo was saying that he offered to fulfill Sinny's Patreon request for her. He's done that before with Peaches too. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Like, yes, Leo, give me something a, four, a shitty 14-year-old looking ass artwork in place of a real artist work that I paid for. He's a chronic good guy. Ren spit, yeah, Ren spit in there. Why hasn't he taken down the fundraiser for exploration of miners? The fundraiser for exploration of miners. I'll be completely honest, I accepted so many commissions that I can't keep track of any of it. I got a lot of them done, but there's a lot that I lost. Yeah, that's bound to happen, I think, especially when you have this going on. I lost track of who I owe art. At this point, it's just for fund everyone. Maybe I should make it go fund me so I can give people their money back. Oh, I hate money. Same, honestly. And thankfully, he knows it because it buys lots of fun things, colon three. I'm in a lot of debt. Oh, shit. Sinny angry crying. Go fund for Sinny stress. Give me $10,000, damn it. I'd do it after your video out. 10000 for emotional damages, lol. Honestly, you could do that. It's a valid thing to go to court for. Oh my god. Document any harassment or threats you receive. My friend Cass said, Jack, leaving the hat on the pillow before he left counts as harassment. Yes, yeah, so does art depicting you dead. Yep. These people are really making it harder for themselves. It's so funny reading all this stuff when literally everyone in this group chat has like vanished from social media. Some wholesomeness. Raccoons? She's like, let me hold the camera. I know my good angles. Yeah, they are orphans my mom has had and is under the umbrella of, of at org. Oh my god. I bet Evan is like 30 and lives with his mom. For sure. For sure. Oh my goodness. They might be a permanent residence because Ida is too domesticated because she was young when found. I wrote so much about the sexual assault allegations, non-stop yapping. You gotta get it out. You gotta get it out. Puts the raccoon in a sock. There's nothing better than a raccoon that thinks it's a cat or a dog. I mean, Ren's spitting again there. I know this was like four hours ago, but I'm at work. It's one thing to fantasize, express it with others. I don't find that odd at all. It's another thing to follow through with it. It seems... If it seems bad faith, then frankly cry about it. I don't actually care for Cindy as a person. I only recognize that she was thrown under the bus unfairly. Being weird is not a crime. Sure, I can separate the actual legal stuff. When I personally find con contempt will just fine. What well, I personally find contempt will just fine. Okay. This villain, villainella guy is kind of cooking. Rise. I just texted my friend asking for my jewelry, asking for Squirp. I told her Jack can't properly take care of her. Also, I want my jewelry. That shit was expensive. Yeah, I don't think she's working right now. I'll update if she responds. I'd also include the cat is yours because you paid for the cat to care of pet related expenses. Adopted in her name, so it's her property by right. Unfortunately, that's how pets work. I'll look for the paperwork soon. She texts me back, Jack isn't staying with her, but does have my cat, so Jack isn't watching the cat. Take that cat back. Well, I talk about how I can't live without the cat, how scared he is with leaving the cat behind, and how devastated the cat would be. Emoji. Maybe if it's a squirp, I don't know. She says she doesn't want to give me the cat, because last time she visited, the little box wasn't cleaned. Right, you can't use arbitrary qualifiers and tell people to disagree to cope as a G coping, says Kumo. Hop off my dick, for real. <laughs> what dick? That's not how that works. 
Hold on three, it's got all the features. Okay. Right, it's literally your cat one day of accidentally forgetting to clean the boxes and kill them. Holy shit. Okay. Three squirp till it's backwards. I think we're getting about to where I want to sort of um take a pause and pick it up tomorrow. There's a lot here. There is a fucking there is a lot here. Chill. Play the Carmen song, the Carmen Rider song. Okay. So quick shit. Guys, if you've been enjoying this, okay. Like, subscribe, donate, buy a membership, gift a membership, buy a super chat, gift a gift a membership, gift a whole bunch of memberships, buy a super sticker. Discord.gg slash Queeman, Twitter.com slash Queeman, Reddit.com slash R slash Queeman. Let's uh, let's play one of these Kumo songs. Anyway. Okay. Guys, let's see how much this we can get through. I don't know how much we'll manage. I, I don't have a lot of patience for shit like this, so. Alright. Wait, um When's Beckett's video coming out? He said this would be like a two day thing. And yeah, here we are. Still not out. Whatever. Okay. Quite routines are pathetic. This ninja is playing Info Wars. Fuck this shit. I'm not going to sit around anymore. Time to play some Info Wars. That's from Villanilla. And Evan says, Don't you dare compare my boy Alex to this Tard. Villanilla says, Slash serious. Evan says, Extremely offensive to the best conspiracy theorists out there that end up being true. Retard. Unironic fan call anyway, and then Kuma posting Diddy. Awesome. Nilla doesn't know about the frogs and the grove. Oh, you know, it kind of didn't. Wasn't there? Wasn't there? Uh, wasn't there a group chat at one point? Uh, uh, at some point in these dramas, there was a group chat. I remember when it was. Now it was at the Choco Latte person. The Choco Latte person who accused just a robot of grooming her by making her draw Jail Animation's titties on Discord when she was a 17-year-old minor was in a group chat that was called, like, Diddy's Pedophile Gang or some shit like that. It wasn't actually called that, but it was something like that. It was called, like, Diddy's Pedophile Gang. It was, like, a, a Diddy reference in the, in the group chat name. And then the profile picture of the group chat was Todo from Jujutsu Kaisen. And now I see here. Now that was, it was said to me, Kumo was no part of that. That wasn't anything to do with Kumo. Now I see here Kumo posting Diddy gifts. I see here Kumo posting Diddy gifts. So, so, oh, it was explicitly not about Diddy. It was called "So You Like Diddling Kids" and had the Toto picture. Oh yeah, and then the excuse, the cope, was that it was a Diddy reference. Well, then if it was a Diddy reference, if it was a Diddy reference. I mean, I still think Kumo was involved. I still think Kumo was involved. Diddy's name is so unfortunate. All fortunate, depending on your perspective. Nilla doesn't know about the frogs and the grove. Okay, well, like the grove, like that's like pseudo correct. And the frogs, he was just wrong on. But people will pretend, like, pretend otherwise. There needs to be more counter information wars going on. Birdie is entirely unchallenged. I mean, I'm saying stuff, but, but that's about it. Leia was going to be challenging. But then her nudes got leaked by Echo. So we're in the DMs to get Leroy something here. People have already covered their ears and will go to the response video with their bias so far up their ass they won't hear anything. I don't know how to do that. I feel like anything I say is going to spoil the response. Challenging people's beliefs. Okay, well, I did that at least. Okay, guys, I am starting to, I'm running out of patience. I don't care about this. I care about, we get the message. These people were conspiring to save Cine, okay? That's what they wanted to do. Kumo was trying to save it. Now, we've got some... I, I know there are some interesting things in these DMs, okay? Let's try searching Chud. So we've got his YouTube channel being linked here. Okay, here we go. Will you be posting the video when you get home? I'll be up, up to provide support and such. Yeah, I'll have to, yes. So that's Goblin H talking to. It's Goblin Cine. I still think I should make a thumbnail, even if it's low effort, says Cine. I'm also anxious that my video won't be taken seriously due to new info coming out. Goblin says, Don't worry, we can easily dispel that because it's so fucking easy. Also, what if we released the screenshots you have of Jack wishing you dead or saying you should die? Cine says, I definitely got to bring this up in a different video. My biggest concern. And reason for wanting to continue looking into the account was because I saw them celebrating the fact that they could enter my apartment without my without my permission. But of course, Jack is convinced I was just looking for dirt. 
Okay, what if my thumbnail is white with just my response in text and the video is titled my response? I don't know what I'm doing, TBH. That's good. Add in part one in the title. Great suggestion, Romantic Goblin. Uh, yeah, make it part one of my response. Wow, very smart. You want to call? Maybe in a bit. Okay, so Kumo says here, if you just scroll past all of Jack's audience spurging, there are actually people listening to you. We should get some large content creators to react to it. Ones who have covered it before would be especially helpful. Chud Logic is going to watch it this morning. Woohoo! So, okay, then here we get Evan saying, the, the Chud, the Chud, the have switched teams. Holy cow. Also, I just got done listening to Chud Logic talk about me, and I'm happy with his conclusions. So this was after the uh, resp the second response video, or the, the, the um, second grooming allegations video. Before the Jar video, I think, right? Chud killed Jar for doing his exact shit. Well, Kumo's already dead, sadly. Kumo went and, and killed himself. Is there any positive change going on in the commentary space? Anyone coming around in my situation? Asks Sydney. Evan says, I mean, I told you the Chudites think you're based, lol. Dude, this guy's fucking mentally disabled. No one thinks Sydney is based, dude. Nobody thinks Sydney is based. They think she's got fetal alcohol syndrome. But Evan's got fetal alcohol syndrome too, so... Yeah, they were iffy at first, but they once once they heard what you experienced with Jack, they were like, hold on a sec, they do not like Jack. And Chud was fairly charitable towards you too, especially after Kumo hopped in. I saw the Chud stream also, lol, it was hilarious when you heard me mention him by name and he looked scared for a sec, now. I don't think he was scared of the... I won't say pedophile and you'll see why. Oh wait. Sending Bo Bur Who's sending Bo Burnham? Evan sending Bo Burnham! Who is surprised at this fucking brain damaged? <laughs> Can I call. Man, I'm actually unsure on that one. I'll move on. I'll move on. Fucking love Bo Burnham, says Kumo's fucking retard girlfriend. It does roll off the tongue. It does roll off the tongue, but that's very true. Okay, well, what else happens here? Just a lot of this is just very boring. It's just, it's just very not worth going through. Like, with a fine tooth comb. Okay, so here we go. We start talking about Chud again here. But we're sending guys kissing here. I did redacted and I did bunny girl. So uh, is bunny girl, this is Cinny, I think, right? This is her new Discord account. This is the one that they convinced her to make to, uh, to evade detection. Can we find this Discord account? I wonder. It's called Bunny Grim Zero. Oh, yeah, I, I see them. I have them. Wow. We found Cinny's new Discord account. Crazy. Put that one on the register. Add that one to the register. All right. It just says, really? We can't, ah, oh, God, that's so annoying. All right, yeah, anyway. So this must be when the Jar video comes out, I think. Right? Surely, around here. Jar got his anus resized. Ninja, I already know that shit. I'm talking about the fact Redacted got added and who TF is Bunny Girl. That's Cindy's alt account. Hi. Chud stream is going terribly, Lamel. What do you mean? Jar is being shat on. It's great. Lol, this just makes me feel sad, sad for him, kind of. Having Queeman on doesn't help, says Evan here. Having Queeman on doesn't help, apparently. Now, I disagree, of course. I think it helped tremendously. I think it helped tremendously. But whatever, I'll leave that up to other people to decide, okay? Omog, why does her face even matter? Well, it matters because Jar wanted to fuck her and he hadn't even seen her face. Also, she's ugly. I kind of hate this guy. No shit. I agree. I hate they harp on her looks. I know you hate that goblin because you're ugly. You've got braces despite being like 30. So you've got a fucked up jaw, some fucked up underbite going on and you live in a trailer park. This is not what we want. All this does is worsen things. It just reignites drama. It did reignite drama and we've been talking about it for like two months. We've, we've, I've been milking this for like two months at this point. Getting close. I get fucking over Jar, but like, FFS. Yeah, why throw somebody else in the ringer? I'm at work. It doesn't help Queeman labeling her as a pedophile. So they're not huge fans of me labeling Cinny as a pedophile. I feel like I've been one of the most sympathetic to Cinny. I feel like my coverage, overall, has been the most sympathetic to Cinny. I feel like each turn, I've done a good job of... Uh, I mean, I get it. I feel like I do a good job of uh, humanizing people, especially people accused of grooming and pedophilia. I feel like I do a great job of that. I feel like I've always said times where Sydney's getting fucked over by other people, 
times where Sinny's getting uh, taken advantage of, times where people are berating Sinny unfairly. I've always pointed those out. Yeah, and I always caveat. I'm always like, I, I just say pedophile is shorthand. I'm saying pedophile is shorthand. Obviously not actually pedophile. I always say that shit. I'm always saying that shit. Why is Chad talking about her looks when he is British and fat? <laughs> this is two days in a row we've had we've had comments like this. Two nights in a row. We had it with Mrow's Mrow's girlfriend, Mrow's 17-year-old girlfriend, Mrow's teen Mrow's cunny wife yesterday. And now we've got it with Chad today. <clears throat> also, who is Queeman? Someone we don't want involved in this. Ah, <laughs> oh, so funny, man. If Queeman doesn't face reveal, he should not be talking about someone else's looks. Okay, well, they quickly correct this. Queeman does stream with face cam occasionally. Dude looks like a starving Jew. Evan wears a balaclava, by the way. Evan wears a balaclava on stream. He doesn't show his face. And he's slightly overweight. So I don't know, like, I don't know who you are. Who? Imagine the type of person, imagine the type of person that gets on camera, but still doesn't show their face but still does not show their face. They get on camera and they pull a sock over their head. Imagine how ugly they must be. Imagine how ugly they must be. I do rep the Warsaw diet. I can't deny. I can't deny. I can't deny. I don't lie. I do be, I do be picking little snacks out here and there. I don't be eating full meals. Dude looks like a starving Jew. Hmm, okay. Well, I wouldn't have known anyways, lol. I'm a nibbler. I'm a nibbler. Exactly. Lord XD, he doesn't take care of himself. Oh, I mean, you know, you know. I'm on the grind, okay? I'm on the grind. I don't even know, but whatever. whenever I see Leroy in chat, I get this sudden urge to say a slur to her or do a hate crime. I don't know who this re redacted individual is, but they are talking sense here, I have to say. I have to say, they are talking sense here. I don't agree with everything they've said, but this message... We can consider. She's been kissing my ass a lot lately. Okay, is there anything else here? Queeman is calling me a pedo, says Cinny here. I, it's just so, it's shorthand. It's a colloquialism. It's shorthand. I use it as a placeholder because it's a funny word to say that quickly communicates that you've had strange interactions with children. Okay, I don't mean anything by it. I don't say it with hate. A term of endearment even. Yes, exactly. It's like a term of endearment. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is why I wanted you logged off, says Goblin. I wanted to watch the stream. <laughs> uh, it's kind of bad right now. I know. It's some face. Kuiman is a Brit-bonging cunt. Don't worry about what he says. I do think Jar was preying on me, knowing I was extremely isolated. See, dude, but she knows I was talking sense. She knows I was spitting. I might have called her a pedo. See, this one... Wait, 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 wait. This must have been... Kuiman is calling me a pedo. Do you think this is what? Do you think this is sent like basically the moment I say, "Jar, you were praying on pedo pussy." <laughs> do you think this was set? Do you think this was this moment? And then this is. I do think Jar was praying on me, knowing I was extremely isolated. This is as I'm making my point, dude. This is literally as I'm calling in on that stream, dude. It's so crazy to see into the group chat as it was happening. <laughs> That's funny. I do think Jar was praying on me, knowing I was extremely isolated. I don't act like a victim. I think his intentions are fucking strange. Right, he was flirting with you, making sexual jokes in the interview. He came through with some sort of confirmation virus and gave me hope when I was desperate for a way out. Yeah, Jar reminds me of that one autistic cousin who doesn't know when to chill the fuck out and says insane shit. I still have the teensiest bit of hope for improvement. Right now, I'm going to focus on me and not my rep. Yes, that sounds good. I hope you're getting your IRL shit sorted. I have an appointment with, my, with the prosecutor in a few days, day after tomorrow. Let's focus on that. I like you don't want to watch the Chud stream, so neither should you. Shouldn't have made either of my videos, says Cine. I think I really just need to acknowledge it doesn't fucking matter what label people want to put on me. I shouldn't be fighting the groomer label. The fact is, I've traumatized people. I'm realizing now that the way I've been acting is fucking dangerous. I never realized that until now. I realized that once I learned I was hypersexual, I used that label to excuse my behavior. I thought the way I was acting was normal. I remember defending it to my ex-boyfriend when he asked why I was acting so sexual towards Peewee. I told him, I just need friends I can talk to like this. Like, holy shit, I'm realizing none of this is normal. I knew it was a li likely due to sexual trauma when I was a child, but I never, ever considered that it was something I needed to fix. I'm not bothered by my hypersexual thoughts, so I didn't think I needed to fix anything to combat it. 
especially when I've had conversations with friends where I get extremely sexual and talk about fantasies since I was a child. It's been completely normalized to me. This is fucking insane. Kumo's arguing with him, or arguing with her here. Kumo's getting in a fight. What's all this? And then this must be right at the end. This must be literally they had the call that got leaked later, and then it stops. Why is Goblin posting selfies? Who knows, man? Like, uh, yeah. Why is she posting selfies? So yeah, this is when Kumo broke up with her. We don't know who redacted this, or I don't know anyway. Wow. Well, I feel like, to be honest, that's like, I, I thought we've gotten most of the good stuff out of these. I don't know that there's really much more interesting in here. It's, it's like exceedingly lengthy. Kumo's not in some of it, so we don't really care about stuff about Kumo.